it is what's happening. Well, just another day in the office. That's getting the motor. And of course, you know, the tow truck projects always are here. And well, old Bessie, she uh, lost the clutch. Well, actually, I think what happened is I think the throw out bearing broke because two weeks ago I was using it and the pedal was jumping really bad and making a bunch of noise. But one day I pushed the clutch in and to the floor and it makes a horrible noise and the clutch won't disengage. It actually still works. And I was using the truck to move some stuff around today before I pulled it up here to the door to jack it up to pull the trans. Just what I want to do on the old yard truck. <sighs> But I need the truck because if you follow the channel, you know that I use this wrecker for about everything. Pulling motors, picking cabs off, pushing junk around, everything. So I have to, mirror, I have to fix it. So unfortunately, this particular year Chevy truck, it either could be 11 inch or 12 inch clutch in there. I have no idea. So we're gonna pull the trans and we will find out and order said clutch and make the repairs. It is what it is. It's just part of owning old junk. Uh, I did, however, put some exhaust on this truck, bent up some exhaust, and uh, got a whole new exhaust system on it from the Y pipe back. Uh, you know, I put a small block in this truck. And I'm gonna go over a couple things real quick on this truck because I've had a couple people ask me why, why, why. Well, of course, if you follow this channel, you know I like old ancient crusty tow trucks in fact i bought one in philly last week and i'm bringing it home this week i'll share a clip at the end of the video what it is pretty cool bought this truck no motor no doors that's how i bought the truck there was a deal i made with a buddy of mine if not he was going to jump the truck I paid 600 dollars for the truck as of this moment as i'm talking to you on this video i have 650 dollars in this truck now let me explain real quick. When I say I have $650 in the truck, you're looking at what looks to be like a fresh motor. And yes, it is a fresh motor. Now, I've had a lot of comments on why is the motor painted blue? Well, the motor's painted blue because it's an 80s motor. And in, I believe late 78, 79 to like early 80s, GM painted their motors blue. This motor was gonna go in another project I have, but I've since switched gears on said project. So that's why the motor's blue and not Chevy orange. I really don't care. It's clean, it looks good, uh, and it runs good. Now, the motor, the way you see it sitting in here from air cleaner, which I'm not gonna use that air cleaner, it's just one I had. Uh, clear down to everything you see on this motor, manifolds. There's even a brand new Y pipe on it. So it does have single exhaust. You see down in there, I had everything. This was all bought for another project that, like I said, switched gears on. So I had all this stuff laying around, um, everything. I mean, I had this motor running on an engine stand. Uh, if you go back a couple of my videos, you'll see I had it running. Motor sounds really good. The carburetor is not good. The carburetor's it either needs to be rebuilt or it's got some trash in it, one or the other. It starts and it runs and I can move it around. It's right, right now, that's all I care about. I'm not running it, running it. So I'll either A, go through this carburetor, or B, just buy a brand new one. They're not that expensive. And at the end of the day, I don't mind buying a new carburetor because I have $650 in this truck. I consider this motor and everything that's there lost money because I've already spent it over a year, year and a half ago. So it's money that's long gone. So just, I mean, <laughs> I've got everything. I had to go dig for it because you know I moved and had to look for stuff, hoses. Brand new. Lower hose. Upper hose. I had everything. This was gonna go in a Chevy rollback that I had bought about two, three years ago. I bought it without an engine. This was gonna go in that rollback. That's why it's so complete. But I ended up selling the rollback and abandoned that project for something else. I made money on that rollback, but I kept all of this. So, like I said, it's technically, I guess you can't really even say it's lost money. It's found money. So, as I'm talking to you, I have $650 in this truck. I put exhaust on it last night. It's just single. I used a um, 
it, it looks like a Flowmaster muffler, but it's a um, thrush. Let's see if you can hear what she sounds like. It doesn't sound bad, actually. Like I said, the car bear's a little dicked up. Now you can see it doesn't want to idle. And when it does, it idles real crap. But that's the carburetor. I'm going to replace it or go throw it, whichever I feel like. The doors, a buddy of mine hooked me up with the doors. Really nice, complete doors. Uh, it's got a little hickey there, a little bend, but they've got no rod in them. Um, really nice doors. Only downside is they're power doors. So I'm going to buy a set of manual regulators and make them manual. The passenger side door, really nice again. But somebody had dropped it. So I've got to work on straightening this out a little better. But like I said, you can see this is a really nice truck. This is not a, it looks like a total piece of junk, but it's actually a really nice truck. Coat of paint on it, um, and it'll look good. Fancy cow hood. So, you know, we're, we're moving along on that project. Um, and I haven't really shared a whole lot of content on it. I don't know if you guys are interested in that old wrecker. I know some guys were interested in the Ford wrecker, which I haven't really done anything with yet. Uh, that is a 76 F350 390 four barrel truck, Ranger XLT. So it has carpet, AC, cloth seat, headliner, all that trim on it. Nice truck. But we got to fix old Betsy. We can't be without. We can't be without our uh, workhorse. So it is what it is. Mm, excuse me. I get the hood open. And we got some other stuff to fix. The rat eater took a crap um, a couple of weeks ago, and I just kind of rigged one in there. So I need to get the right rat eater for this truck. Uh, this one's too tall. So I've got it just zip tied in there. This is a 350, 354 bolt. This truck does have dual exhaust and it is a stick, obviously. The Chevy over there is automatic with turbo 400. Um, I've owned this truck for quite a long time. This has been a really, really good truck. It's been an awesome yard truck. And that's what I use it for. I use it around the shop picking up stuff, moving trash, um, it's, it's excellent. But I went through the truck when I first bought it, and I tuned it up, I put wires on it, all new hoses, blah, 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 blah. Looks like I got a little antifreeze leak up there on the old intake manifold. We'll have to take care of that. I think that's like a hose leaking or something up there. But we need to get the right rat eater for it. We do not have the correct rat eater. Um, so I'll have to invest in a rat eater along with a clutch. And um, it has a bad brake hose on this side. So good old Rock Auto is where I'll get the parts from. Uh, clutch is gonna be like a hundred bucks. Radiator is like less than a hundred bucks. So a couple hundred bucks, I'll have this truck fixed in my time. It is what it is. So wanna give you little guys something, little kind of an update on the uh, old channel there today. Uh, I'll slide in some clip of uh, me making exhaust on the uh, Chevy. And at the very end here, I'm gonna slide in a little clip what we're picking up this week in Philly. Holla at your boy. Keep your wheels. What it is. What's happening? Let's put some exhaust on this toilet. Let's turn that into something.
I know, somebody's going to say, old machine, blah, 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 blah. I own a machine. This is my personal home garage. How many guys can say they got a bender at their house? Let me take some notes. Some junk's always got to fall. on this old 30 series Chevy uh, record and we're going to give her a thrush hush something I had let's uh weld this all together and make it something so this is the DeYoung muffler get that out straighten this end out there's a little booger there straighten that out so that uh tailpipe, fancy, fit. Now I need to get this piece out of there. There was something. I figured I might as well show you what I'm doing. Now let's install this crap.
Let's see what she say. Let's see what it sounds like now. I think my neighbors are like that. on the thing not the greatest. Well, now I get a rat eater to set the time and just the car bear. At least it's what. And I beat the rainstorm. So look. That was a quick single exhaust install. Holla at your boy. Keeps it real. Catch me on the next one. Because the boy is hot and tired. Here. That's the fuzz. We're up here in Philly checking out something I think you guys will like. Spinning around D2 Chevy Wrecker. I think we're going to bring this thing home, add it to the collection. Pretty cool old truck. Dude, I know. It's got some cool stuff. That's pretty cool. Yep, he's got some cool stuff.